Hey, welcome to or welcome back to Auntie's Cakery. I'm Tracy. In this video, I made a very simple design cake, but yet it's still very elegant. I start with a beautiful marble base. In the middle tier is a sparkly champagne tier. Then we have a beautiful burgundy and finish it off with pearls. And I'll show you how I did it. I will start with a moist chocolate cake. And here I have some white chocolate ganache. I've just made a border to keep the chocolate buttercream on the inside. Smooth it out. Stack it up. Then with a the ganache, I'll do a thin crumb coat. That just keeps the crumbs to the cake. So when I do the final coat, I won't have crumbs in it. Chill it in the fridge and then do a final coat with my chocolate ganache. If you'd like to know about my edgers, I do have a tutorial on how to make one yourself. I'll have that in the eye and in the description box. I did a six inch cake, a 12 inch cake, and an eight inch cake. On the six inch cake, I will put beautiful burgundy fondant on the top. The middle tier will have a soft pink ivory. For the bottom tier, I have strips of white, light pink, and maroon fondant. I'll mix those together until I have a nice marble. Then roll it out and drape it over the cake. After I've got all the fondant on the cakes, I will use a little pearl sheen, spray it on that middle champagne tier to make it extra sparkly. And of course, I did not forget the straw support dowels. I'm putting some melted ganache right there on the top to help stick the tears together. Now I'll put the bead borders on. For this, I'm using piping gel and some sprinkles. Layer the piping gel on the cake, and I just put the sprinkles on there. I don't have any special tool to do this, so I'm doing it with my hand and tweezers. The bottom layer will have a single row of beads. For the top layer, I'm just putting the beads along the top, so I'm flipping the cake upside down to make it easier for me to put the beads on. I'll do that the same way I did the middle tier. I was a little trial and error here. I was able to get it eventually. Using my tweezers to squish it up against the cake seemed to work the best. Using my fondant smoother to make sure it's all secure. And for the last step, I will take my hand steamer to remove all that excess cornstarch. Makes it nice and shiny. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I invite you to subscribe so you don't miss the newest videos. Bye.